On resume game. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> on resume game. <laughs> Three, two, one. Do you want to stay here or do you want to see Shay? Uh, I would just assume stay here because at some point they will kick you over to the other person. Yeah, uh, once can... you finish the storyline. Yeah, I mean we can go to Shay right now if you're curious to see what he's up to. Hey, but kid. no, let's just stick stick with her. Okay, so we've unlocked the door and we've unlocked all the doors. Wait, should I have written that down? Build a bomb, get it off the ship, and drive the ship out of here. No, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Build a bomb. Whatevs. Hey, thanks for helping. Yeah. Thanks for busting us out of there, girl. What are you doing now? Warning people about that dangerous window? Good idea. We learned our lesson there, didn't we? I like the cone. Can you talk to the cone? Nope. nope. I like how she had a one-sided conversation with that thing. I know. Are there any bomb materials in the kitchen? That seems to be the first place to always look. The kitchen? Oh, of course. I mean, we can prob they probably, we probably meant Tacos Till Tuesday. Nope. Taco Pill Tuesday. Yeah. Maybe could this un we can put the there bomb in- There you are. And so nice and clean, too. We can probably put a bomb inside of that thing. Uh. Yeah? Seems reasonable. Yeah. Put the bomb innards inside of the child. <laughs> look, I made the bomb look like your child. It's a horrible metaphor. I love it. I think there was something I could click in the corner. Hold on. Yeah. I think I found your bedroom, Dutch. Where the magic happens. Between uh... you and this spoon here? No. That guy, me and him had a big beef over a dame. Who won? Don't see him around anymore, do ya? I think we're gonna find Spoon later, and then like it's he's gonna, gonna be, be like, that is not the way things happen, you asshole. That is not how it worked. Oh, I thought we fixed you. I just want to go fix him real quick, just in case there's some sort of like alternate puzzle where it's like, did you fix all the sad faces? How do we do that? We gotta put the helmet on. I would not want to do that. No. Stick your head in that. It's fine. Oh, there's no way to see it. Okay, let's get out of here. No, just leave it like that, girl. I like it like that. I know. Oh, it's like Mass Effect grid. Yeah. Ooh, we can go in here now. Perfect. Are Whoa. you? Oh no! Time knitter or, he looks or like galaxy he's dying. knitter? What was he called? Hi there. Ah. Oh dear. Maybe he's time weaver. Oh yeah, the Excuse time weaver. Excuse me. Or the space weaver. Yes. Hello, and thank you for considering the space weaver six X for purchase. I have been programmed to be the most personable and accurate navigation system on the market. Just bring me a star chart, and I shall weave my yarns into a... My yarns into a... Where are my yarns? What happened to my top spindle? Demo terminated. Service requested. System forbidden. So I have to think... Let's go down. If he's sentient, and I'm trying to, like empathize with him and he said where are my yarns where is my thingy I have to imagine like he's being like where are my insides where is my arms I you know what it reminded me of that scene from hook where he's like I've lost my marbles oh my marbles, my marbles. hey what's this thing a bomb part hmm I get the feeling something is supposed to go in this area here but it's missing hmm I get the feeling something is supposed to go in this area here, but it's missing. I'm a doom. <laughs> Ooh, wait, hold on. Come on, Nope. Oh, we gotta go to that yarn place. Looks like there's a bunch of debris in there. I can't get through. Great. No, young master. 
We can go into the other places where our uh, like the roller coaster and stuff. Oh were. yeah, so it's gonna be we're gonna open up a lot of new places now. Sweet ice cream mountain. Yay! Ice cream did not see that coming. Oh, I bet we can go click on that thing, the blue thing. Well, let's just give her some ice cream first. Is this first. stuff for real? Well, stick your face in it. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just try to eat it? Hey, do these whipped cream guns come off? Not since somebody used one to blast themselves into an unauthorized area. One guy takes it too far, and we all get punished. Not fair. Hmm. What's up with you guys? Hey, you guys look like you got caught in some sort of ice cream avalanche. No, we're trying to cryogenically freeze ourselves. Some messed up junk has been going down around here, and we'd rather just sleep through it. Oh, I see. Mind if I have a look around? Knock yourself out. Just don't fall us out until things settle down, okay? I don't think that's quite how you do it, well, but... Well, they're like, you know, knitted sentient children, so... Yeah. I wonder if I can get that tire. Nope. Oh. oh, put your shoes on. Okay, oh. now I'm cold. Don't forget about Sticky! Too small for him, even deflated. When you find a pair of shoes that fit, hang on to them. That's what I say. Okay, but put them on. If nothing else, they'll keep my feet warm in here. Okay. Now go up there. Get now that go tire. Up there. If my friends in Mariloff could see me now. I'd eat some, but it smells like some sort of refrigerated nutritional paste. Plus food coloring. Okay. So it's not ice cream. No, that sounds gross. Uh, Alright. Hmm. I wonder... I can't carry it in my hands. Oh! But... Why yes, I will have some ice cream, thank you. What do we need the ice cream for? A bomb. Clear <laughs> clearly. Because it doesn't smell like ice cream, it smells like nutrient paste, so maybe we can give it to something, or we can add it, mix it with something else. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? Nutrient Probably just paste! Nutrient, nutrient paste. paste! That is a real song in our heads. Oh, no! Wow. That whipped cream sludge ate my cloud shoes. Sorry, Carl. Carl. Oh, I'm really like sad about the shoes. I know, they were so cute. And you know you can't wear bird shoes in real life without people giving you shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, better put this back to cover my tracks. No, no. what? No, move it. But we can move it if we want to. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Through the sad cloud file nice. door. Well, that room is gone. Neato. Looks like the windows have been sealed with some sort of force field. You're able oh, with to the Mass Effect field, maybe? There's How is she goes. able to dumping the trash off the ship? I guess. If only I were a little faster. Hmm. Wait, faster? She wants to get inside that. It won't open. That trash robot shut it tight. We'll have to figure something out. Oh. Oh my god. This is this is disturbing. Yeah. Hello, creepy man. Hi. Is there a problem here? Yes. This train is about to go out of control, and our young hero is nowhere in sight. I blame myself. If this train is about to go out of control, shouldn't everybody get off of it? No, it won't go out of control until the moment the young hero arrives. Uh... If the train isn't a runaway until your hero arrives, and your hero is missing, then what's the problem? If the young hero never arrives, then we have no purpose. Why do we exist? Oh dear. Do we even exist? Uh... You see, it's unsafe from a philosophical point of view. 
They're having an existential crisis. Why do you blame yourself? Why do, why do we exist? Do we exist? Oh no! Why do you blame yourself? I banged the young hero for life after a reckless stunt he pulled in the course of a rescue. But now I realize he was just trying to teach us a valuable lesson about safety. <laughs> can I oh, help? God. Sorry, but only the young hero can save us. Wait, you calling me not Can I ride the train? Can I ride the train? Didn't I just tell you it's a runaway? Also, no. We can't do anything without the young hero. Who is the young hero? The Lone Ranger of Bridge Danger! The big buffer of train stoppers! The young master of rail disaster! Prevention! His name is Shay, and his whereabouts are currently unknown. Are you sure I can't help? How do you know I'm not the young hero? The young hero has a face that shows no fear. Also, he wears periwinkle loungewear. Well, stay safe. Find the young hero. Only he can keep us safe. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I'll just, uh... I, make him any I could wear him as a costume, but that would be creepy. And also, I'd probably sweat to death. Do what it. About... Maybe we'll find pajamas in his room if we go there. I don't know. Freezing him won't make him any more lifelike. I can't wait. What to about the knife him on the costume? To cut I could the... wear him as a costume, know. but that would be creepy. And also, I don't want to put any more rips in it. Okay. You know what? Let's just move on. Yep. Let's go look at all the stuff and then we'll figure out. Did we ever fix our head? Eh, we'll be fine. I can't wait to introduce him to my my big old bowl of cold. It's a bowl of cold. Hey there. Back to the exits. You haven't eaten in at least an hour, have you? Hey. Hey, that my one's head's open. Normal. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. But at least I didn't make it any bigger. Oh, maybe that'll time. bring us to the area behind uh, the a dead moth on one of my lasers. It was messing the whole deal up. Yikes! Could have been worse. You could have ended up half girl, half moth. <laughs> ha ha ha! Oh, uh, the stories I could tell, honey. Uh, that's a reference to the fly. <laughs> hey there. I knew you were faking it. Hey, I go to a more sensitive location than you two, so naturally I'm more sensitive to power surgeons. Uh-huh. You haven't eaten in at least an hour, have you? Oh, I love how they ask you that right. as you're taking the ride. Don't die! Bye! Caution! Entering an area of storm. Yikes! What the? Thank you. Goodbye. Must have been trying to warn me about falling ship parts. Get in here. Huh. Oh. I wonder what that funny... None of this was... Man, that's pretty. Wonder what it is. Touch it! Oh, that's the fusion orb. It powers the ship's defenses. Is it Perfect. dangerous? Not as long as it's on ice. <gasps> yeah! Oh! Omicron fission event. It's the Ooh. bomb! That sounds like an explosion. Big one. Hey. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. I just like to keep track of where all the explosives are. <laughs> Put it in the bowl! <laughs> hey, I wonder if this cold bowl would keep that thing from overheating. Let's just do it! Yeah. Yeah, that works great! Attention, 
Do not remove fusion ore from refrigerated pedestal. It's cool. All Omicron fission event will occur. Not until my super advanced ice cream melts, it won't. And when the ice cream finally melts, something tells me we'll have a nice little explosion on our hands. Speaking of, I should probably get this thing off the ship. Hmm, how wow. do we get off the ship? We figured that out really fast. <laughs> I think they were like, okay, after the logic puzzle, we're pretty much done, right? Yeah, these girls are uh, they're pretty slow, so we're going to have to make this next one really yeah, easy. <laughs> Come to find out, our playthrough is different from everybody else's. They're like, yeah, the logic puzzle was super easy. I know, okay. Howdy, Mel. Oh, you want to go back to the Nexus? Nexus. Do you remember the Nexus from Star Trek? No, what was it? The Nexus was the the the, the uh, super awesome place where everybody wants to go. Hi, it's Mel. like Back to the jungle. utopia, but oh. it's not real. Mm -hmm. And so they always try to like get into it. It's really hard to get into the Nexus, and then once you're there, you're like trapped there, oh. and nobody ever wants to leave. Nobody. Like, oh, because it was perfect, right? Yeah, and um. So where do we put the bomb? Let's go talk. Hey, I found a bomb! Get that out of here! <laughs> hey, I found a bomb. What do I do with it? Hey, check out my bomb. Is that... Is that our fusion orb? Do <laughs> you know how dangerous that is? What? Is it radioactive or something? No. Well... We told Shay it was, so he would stop playing with it. But it is highly unstable at room temperature. I guess that's why I packed it in ice. Yes, but when that ice melts, it will probably... Blow up? That's great! <gasps> Don't worry. I'll dump it off the ship. Way before that. As long as you have a plan. I'm telling you, this woman is like... Alright, cool! Yeah. Alright! Mirakai? Yes? You lied to me. She's not a computer. I never said she was a computer. She's not behind the kidnappings. You are. I never said she was behind the kidnappings. You weren't trapped under that junk. I never... Well, okay, you got me on that one. I could be a little overdramatic about physical pain. Why did you shut me into this room? You just shut down our ship and therefore had to be incapacitated. You're a dangerous girl, Vela. Something tells me we don't even know yet how much. Where are you taking us? And why? To the Red Hangar. For processing. Processing? As in, like, paperwork? Ew! It's being weird. Yeah. He's like, like, processing to very ugly dudes. Processing. <laughs> Are the girls you kidnapped really still on board? Or did you lie about that too? They're all on board and secured in a safe room. Including you. Ew! Is there really a plague on this side of the dam? <laughs> yes, there is a plague, but not in Lerona. The plague is you. And your kind. No offense. Our people are the noble result of thousands of years of rigorous and expensive genetic curation. We built the dam to keep out the genetic plague of the Badlands. Badlands? Again, no offense. I'm going then to take a guess that they're stealing the girls because they're so genetically perfect that they can't have babies anymore. <laughs> Well, that's what I was about to say. Like, if there's a pl if they're a plague, why the fuck are they taking them? I know they're like, oh god, you're so genetically inferior, but we need you to be our baby makers or some weird shit. Yeah. If we're a plague, why did you kidnap so many of us? Although it pains me to admit it, you spawns of chaos have something that we lost along the way, and have not been able to simulate something unnameable and primitive. Maybe even brutish, but essential to our survival. Ew! As what? Maybe you don't understand what unnameable means? That boy, her son, 
What's his part in this? Shay was raised outside of the nurturing atmosphere of Laruna so that he would be, some would say, weak enough, but I would add sensitive enough to select the subjects who fill the holes, as it were, in our collective family tree. Uh, this just gets creepier and creepier. You said it, Not girl. everyone has the stomach for perfection. Ah, uh, I gotta go. Yes, relax and enjoy. She's like, fuck you, buddy. This is weird, and I... I'm not saying that, like... They're I, breeding them. I'm not, like, a, I'm not, like, approving of what they're doing, but I kind of like that they're going this way. I like that the writers are going this direction, but yes. I don't like that the story... You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, you can, like, disapprove of, like, what's happening while respecting, like, the decisions that the writers are making to, like, be like, you know what? Yeah, we're making a game where they steal girls and, like, marry them off to people and breed them because that's a fucking horrible thing to do. Now sit in your shame! <laughs> I like how Stacey was like, no, it seems like... It really seems like it's a metaphor for marriage or something. And then I bet a bunch of people were like, Come on, Stacy, really? <laughs> really, can you put your vagina away? <laughs> and now... Stacy, you're just saying that because you're married, okay? Not everything is a metaphor for that. And I'm like, but a lot of it is. And now we're starting to think, genetic holes, like, yeah. we need girls to fix what we can't name. And I'm like, all right, say it, it's a vagina, okay? Mm -hmm. With our magical vagina powers, <laughs> we'll run the world. We've lost our way of like figuring shit out. How do we how do we throw this out the window? I don't know. Let's hold on, walk over here and see. Let's just go down there and be like, what's up, nerd? I got a bomb. It's the last girl. The one that downed our vessel. What about her? She's significant to him somehow. He was willing to risk everything for her. Twice. Do you think he found a specimen that could show the formation? Yes. I don't even think we need the other specimens. Render them all just to be safe. And incinerate the waste material after you repair the ship, Marakai. I'd rather the Council not find out about how you almost managed to lose a collector in the Badlands. Yes, sir. About the mother. You know the rules, Marakai. She came into contact with an unpurified primitive. Who knows how many diseases she's carrying? Fuck yes, you guys. Master. I'll initiate repairs and repair the incinerator. Hurry, Marikai. There is a quiver in my blood. Ew! Okay. No, there's metaphors happening right now. <laughs> He's called the Thrushmaster. There's a lot of metaphors happening right now, <laughs> and you guys know it. You guys know there's metaphors. There's a quivering in his blood. It's fucking gross. Uh. He's a thrush master. <laughs> Looks like some sort of video game. How do you know what a video game is? I know. I didn't see any electronics anywhere. In their, yeah, in their world? I don't know. Hmm. See what we got. That's not the right way to blow him up. Oh, we gotta blow him up? Maybe I can't the... wait to introduce him to my parents. Maybe it's not the 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 switch, is it? Or the fork or knife or something? Hmm. I think we need to find a way to blow up the fake Shay. Can you think of anything that would blow him up? Is there anything around here? No. 